we're going to do one of our features, Ooh. which involves a sheet of paper. Exciting. Okay. Exciting. Right, we are now going to do a feature, uh, which I'm calling Movie or Myth. Uh, and, it's, and it's very straightforward. Uh, I've got here uh, several plot summaries of movies. And uh, Claire here is going to tell me if she thinks they're a movie, i.e. a real film, or a myth, meaning a film I've made up. Uh, you get bonus points if you can also name the film I'm describing. The synopsis. The synopsis, yeah. But obviously if it's not a film, it's not a film. Well, yeah, but if you think it's a real film, you need to try and think of what the film is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but if, if you're sure it's a myth, you don't have to think of it. You I just say, yeah, it's a myth. Yeah, makes sense? Right, Simple. Uh, so, without further ado, let's scroll down my soundboard uh, for a sound bed and let's play Movie or Myth? Okay, so let's begin. Movie or Myth? Our first one, Clary. Go on. Aliens arrive in Johannesburg, South Africa, and are confined to a squalid refugee camp. Oppression and racism ensue. Movie or myth? <laughs> That's no movie. I'm going to go with myth. You're going with myth. Any thoughts yeah. from the chat room? Movie or myth? It's a film. Myth. You think me? Come on, back me up, guys. Okay. A anyone else think that? We'll give him a minute just to come back. Why do you think myth? Do you think that's? Just... I've just never heard of a film with aliens in Johannesburg. You haven't. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, well, that's that's interesting. Well, Getting they live a... in squalor in the. Okay. Was it shanty town? Uh, yeah, in like in like a refugee camp. Refugee camp. Yeah. Uh, Aliens getting... in refugee. I've never. Heard yeah, of we're getting we're getting a few answers in the chat room as well. Uh, uh, most of you seem to think it's a movie. Um, are you ready for this? <laughs> it is a movie. It is District Nine, uh, which was released in two thousand and nine. That's why I've not seen it. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's all right. No, it, it's a great film actually. It's done uh, in like a documentary style. I'll lend it to you. Right, okay. The lint roller just fell off the windowsill. It's the way we roll down here. And meanwhile, someone in Russia just went, ah, I must be activated, and uh, <laughs> runs off to kill Trump. Um, yeah, no, that wasn't the code word. Come back. Be shot Spies now. is next week. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on. We'll do another one. Let's do another one. <clears throat> I'm going to try better this time. You ready? Right, right. okay. So you got no points so far. Uh, lots of people said uh, District 9, District 9, and it's uh, Peter Jackson produced it too, which he did. It's true. It's true. Uh, right, number two. Following a case of mistaken identity, a receptionist at a law firm has to defend a woman accused of murder. Movie or myth? You're giving me a lot to go on. That's a, that's a hell of a lot to go on. No, no, no. A receptionist oh, wait, no. at a law firm. The receptionist has to represent. Has to represent the woman who's been accused of murder. No, it's not. No, that's why it makes such a good premise. No? You don't think... What do you think? Film? Not? I've never seen it, so... Like, okay, well that doesn't mean it's not a film, but, well, you know, it does... Time, did it, and I thought that wasn't... Well, no. What do we think in the chat room, folks? Movie or myth? I'm gonna go with another myth. You're gonna go with another myth? Because I have no idea if that's a film. Okay. Uh, Rory says, wasn't there a comedy with that white-haired actor? And Sentinel thinks yeah, myth. You see, I, don't, um, I don't think there was enough of a description for that to have been a full film. Do you not think? I think it's a very brief synopsis. Okay, okay. And You're absolutely it's right. It is a myth. I completely no. made that one up. Exactly. That's why I was like, it's just not enough. <laughs> like, what's the plot? I didn't get it. Yeah, no, I completely made that up. There we go. Next one. Is it one I actually know, one I've seen? You probably know none of these, I'll be perfectly oh, honest. This was um, fair. <laughs> what, the, would it have been fun if you had? Yes. <laughs> Not for me, it wouldn't. I right. could have answered a question. <clears throat> Number three. Go on. A man travels back in time to prevent an act of bioterrorism. He meets a psychiatrist who convinces him that he is delusional. Movie or myth? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, I don't know. That kind of sounds 
like it is a movie. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it is. Okay. So that's, I don't get So you're going with movie, but you're not sure. I'm sure there's, I'm, I'm sure I've heard of it, but I don't know what it's called. Okay. All right. What do we think in the chat room, folks? Uh, Sentinel says movie. Yeah, okay. That's good. Anyone else? No? Okay. You guys need to be a bit quicker on the uptake with this. I want an answer straight away, yeah? Billingsley reckons a movie. Yeah, I just don't know what it is. Okay. I've seen the trailer. Yeah. And I... No. Okay. Uh, it is a movie. It's Twelve Monkeys and was released in 1995. That's why I don't know what it's Yeah, called. it's it's a really it's random a title game. for a film, but it is a film. So, yeah. Uh, me, Tina says, am I allowed to play? Uh, well, considering you helped me come up with most of the answers, I think that would be a little unfair. So, yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, so you've got two points so far. Uh, no bonus points because you haven't named any of the films. No, so, damn. Okay. Curses. Uh, number four. A teenager survives a freak accident and begins to see visions of a giant talking bunny. Movie oh, or myth? Oh, I've seen this. Oh, that's yes, a good start. It's a yeah. Movie. What's it called? It's like a really random name. It's like. Oh my god. Oh, I know what it is. I've seen it. I've actually seen it. And it's really, really creepy rabbit. It's a yeah. really creepy, yeah. like, rabbit. Yeah, yeah. It is and the I one you're thinking it. of. Yeah. I can't, what's it called? I've seen it. Shall I put you out your misery? It's like Jack something. No, <laughs> no, it's not Jack it's, anything. Um, what is it called? Uh, it is Donnie Darko. That's it. Donnie Darko. And a couple of you have guessed that in the chat room as well, so well done. I knew that was a You get another point, but you don't get the bonus point. Sorry. Although I'm it glad you've watched it because it's good. I haven't it? seen it, it's just really creepy. It's good. Right, it's okay. Weird. We'll do one more and then we'll move on to something else. So that I can answer, yeah? Yeah, you can You can definitely answer this one. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> good luck. Right, good luck. okay. Everybody ready in the chat room? Cool. A spaceman called Gordon loses his badger. Movie or myth? <laughs> 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 you sure about that? I'm sure it was never a movie. It was ne never a movie. You sure? Never Any really thoughts from the chat room? Movie or myth? Sentinel reckons a myth. Uh, Billingsley Central says, please say that's an actual movie. Um, <laughs> I'm sure, wasn't it in like, um, they described it in a comedy program or something? Uh, you're kind of show. on the right track, and they were I like, think. This is what um, we're going to do. And it wasn't a movie, it was mentioned in something else. Rory says it's called Gordon and the Badger in Space. Me, Tina says it's the movie Matt wants to make. Check in the wardrobe for a script. Uh, right, let's put you out your misery. It is a myth. It's not a movie. It's actually a virtual reality video game uh, that was made by a team on the 2016 series of The Apprentice. Yes, that's it. There you go. You... I'm sure it's like... So in essence, it. in essence, yes, it was a comedy program. Wasn't that the VR one? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. yeah that was and the one. It didn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense. Uh, that... knew how to win. It was stupid. Yeah, stupid. Anyway, that was the first part of Movie or Myth, which we will come back to a little bit later. It's time for round two of Movie or Myth. Next one. How many points do you want so far? I think we said it was three points. Not very How many questions did we do? Uh, we did five. Yeah. I think you got three. two wrong, didn't you? So Claire, Claire is currently on three points out of five. Okay. It's not terrible. It's not, not great. Not, not great, but it's not awful either. None. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Go, 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 go. <clears throat> a snooker based musical with a slight horror twist. Yeah, that's all you're getting. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's a musical based on snooker? Yeah. With a slight horror <laughs> twist. <laughs> that's got to be a joke, Come on, That's got to be a myth. Sentinel says myth. I think myth. Any uh, any other suggestions? I We're all thinking myth, myth, are we? Myth. Mm. 
Uh, Peter Cabaldi reckons myth. Are we ready, folks? Right? It is actually a movie. <laughs> it's called Billy the Kid and the Green Bay's Vampire. And it was released in 1985. Uh, thanks to my colleague Angela at work for that one. That's uh, She suggested that one. Because I was going to be able to answer that. No, you weren't. And that was the point. Billingsley said, got me snookered there. Hang on a minute. Mild applause for the joke. Well done. Um, right, next one. An aspiring puppeteer discovers a portal into actor John Malkovich's mind. Oh, yeah. Go on. Is that it? That's it. It's the film. It's being John Malkovich. Anyone else? I've seen that film. It is a film, and it is being John Malkovich, <laughs> and it was released in 1999. <laughs> Finally! That's good, that's good. So how many points are we up to? You? Four, isn't it? Four points? Well, I had three. I think it was four points. Hmm? I had three. That should be five. No, no, because you got the last one wrong. Yeah, so that's four and five. Yeah, so it's four points you got. Yes, you do. Sorry. No, no. Five Jeez. points. Sorry. I was forgetting about that. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, Peter Capaldi suggested Puppet Love. No, no. Afraid not. Uh, directed by the guy who did The Commitments. His name escapes me. It stars Alan Armstrong and Phil Daniels, says me, Tina. Thanks for the facts. You get a bonus point. Uh, right. Next one. A wasp goes on a journey of self-discovery after his nest is destroyed to build a housing estate. Movie or myth? It sounds like something that Pixar would do, but I don't think it's a film. Well, remember, you had B-Movie. We had the B-Movie, yeah. and we had Ants, yeah. and a Bug's Eye. Yeah, so it could be a knockoff by a like, cheaper studio, couldn't it? I don't think it was a mainstream. I haven't so. heard of it. You've not heard of it? No. What do you think, movie or myth? It's a myth. You think it's a myth? Any suggestions from the chat room? Myth or movie? Rory reckons myth. Yeah. I mean, Tina says that's number one. You're playing a completely different game now, me, Tina. Um, any more suggestions? Peter Capaldi, myth. Okay, okay. You ready? It is, in fact, a myth. I completely made that one up. Okay. Next one. Go on. Let's do it. A psychiatrist tries to help a young boy who believes that he can see the dead. Movie or myth? Oh, it's a film. Oh, what's it called? It's like the kid that's like, it's Oh, I watched it like a month ago. Me, Tina says myth, but it'll be next month's sci-fi original movie. I assume you're talking about the wasp <laughs> thing, not this one. Uh, no, it is, it's, it's... People are saying movie in the chat room? Yeah, we can do this all night, you know, we've got we've got another 40 minutes before we go off air, you know. What is it? Oh, I know it, I know it. <laughs> this is wonderful to listen I've to. I've seen it, with the little kid and he was all cute. This is quality content here on <laughs> Tea Time with Madge. <laughs> oh, uh, what was his name? Okay, for, okay, I will give you, I will give you a bonus point. If you can name the spoiler from this movie. The spoiler. The spoiler. As in the plot twist. Oh, the psychiatrist. Not real. What? I thought it was the psychiatrist not real. I can't remember what happened. It's Bruce Willis is a ghost. Oh. God, but he's the psychiatrist. Yes. But he's, so he's not real. That's he's a ghost. Said. No, of he's course he's real. He's a ghost. That's what I said. Like, that's and not that's what you not said. Real. He's not <laughs> Are you saying ghosts aren't real people? Yeah. Well, that's offensive. Um, yes, it is, of course, a movie, and it's The Sixth Sense. That's it. There oh. we go. Got there. I wish I'd said that because I was <laughs> oh, um, We'll do one more, and then we'll come back to this after another song, I think. Okay. Ready for this one? Oh, no. <laughs> a prince is forced to flee from his homeland after his uncle brutally murders his father. Movie or myth? That kind 
does sound a bit like Hamlet, actually. Any thoughts from the chat room? I'm going to say it is a movie. Okay, what movie do you think it is? Let's say based on Hamlet. Because mm. you know you get, like, movies based on... Yeah, I see where you're going with that. I think if you're... I think if you really thought about it, you could... You would guess what it is. Wait, turn tell me again. What was it? A prince is forced to flee from his homeland after his uncle brutally murders his father. <laughs> yeah, a couple of people have got it in the chat room already. Oh, no. I'll get. I'll get. Do you want a clue? Yeah. We're, we're saying it's a oh, movie. I'm thinking it's Hamlet. Yeah. Okay. It's a Disney film. Lion King. The Lion King! There we go! Billingsley says Scar is a badass. Language. Currently on a score of eight and a half points, Claire is ready to play round three of Movie or Myth. <laughs> boo boo! Right. Ready for this? Yeah. Final round. Okay. You, got, you got your thinking hat on. Okay. Remember, you can join in the chat room. Shout out. Uh, Brent's here. Hello, Brent. Nice to see you, dude. He's here. Finally. How was the live stream, dude? Right. Here we go, folks. Movie or myth? A recently deceased couple engaged the services of a poltergeist to scare the new inhabitants out of their home. Movie or myth? Uh, Quality entertainment here on Tea Time with well, Matt. It kind of sounds like the others, but I don't think it is the others. No, it's not. I can it's tell not. you that much. I I think it is a movie, mm. but I don't know what it is. Go on. Anyone else? Okay, a couple of suggestions. People think it's a movie. And a couple of people are suggesting a title. No, I, I don't know. I don't know this one. But you do, do you think it's I a think movie? I think it is a movie. Okay. It sounds plausible. Yeah, okay. It is a movie. It's Beetlejuice. Uh, in, it was released in 1998. Very good film, Beetlejuice. I was only six, so... Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Watch it. It's good. Um, right. Next one. Please do join in the chat room, by the way. Join in. Please tell me you've seen Beetlejuice, Matt. Duh, Beetlejuice is amazing. Uh, right. Next one. Go. Human beings land on Mars, look at some rocks, and leave again without further incident. Movie or myth? Myth. There's no plot line. <laughs> it's going to be a myth. There it is a like plot line. They go to Mars, they look at some rocks, and then they all go if home, and everything's a, lovely. If it was a film. Explosions and people would fall from space hmm. and death to fighting them. So me. What do we think in the chat room, folks? They're saying myth. They agree with Brent me. Brent says myth. It's always a myth because when they go to Mars, something happens. Lol. Exactly. Sentinel says myth. Uh, Brenton Cog adds it's either aliens or portals to hell. Yeah, all right. It's a myth. Of course it's a myth. It was obviously going to be a myth. Oh, dear. I d do you know what? I tested this one out on Angela at work, and she said, that's the plot of The Martian. I said, no, no, The Martian, everything goes to hell, and Matt Damon gets abandoned. Well, actually, you know what? Matt Damon getting abandoned on Mars isn't such a disaster, in my opinion. So, yeah, actually, that is the plot of The Martian. So, yeah, I'm going to change my answer. It's a movie, damn it. You don't get point. I'm joking. You do get point. Nine and a half point. Uh, right, next one. Go ahead. Go, go, go. A New York barista starts a romantic relationship with a successful businesswoman after spilling her soya decaf latte. Movie or myth? <laughs> <laughs> What's confusing about this? To, where, where was it based, sorry? Right, so it's a New York barista, as in that's a person who works in a coffee shop, so they're in New York, right, and he starts a romantic relationship with a successful businesswoman, right, after spilling her soya decaf latte. Sounds like one of those really bad rom-coms, isn't it? 
Yeah. I... I think it probably is a movie. Sense says film probably starring Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Billingsley says sounds daft enough to be a movie. Peter Capaldi thinks real. Yeah, I think I think it's a film. But I think it's probably terrible. Bren thinks it sounds like a movie, but feels as though it could be a myth, and he's going with myth. Okay, final answer, everyone. You think it's a movie? I'm gonna go with movie. It's a myth, <laughs> completely made up. <laughs> See, that, that was my thinking. I got just enough cliches in there to make it sound convincing. Yeah, so, yeah, I was quite pleased with that one. Yes, I'm glad I fooled you with that one. It's good. Uh, Brent says, ha, only guy here to predict myth. You know me too well, mate. Next one. Are you ready? Yeah. A professional basketball player helps an amateur team win a game against aliens. Movie or myth? I definitely think not. Yeah. Unless that's like the really weird director's cut version. Mm. Okay, a few people giving suggestions here. I've got. No, I just, it doesn't sound like a film. So you're going myth? Sounds completely implausible, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it, is a film. yeah. it is a film. <laughs> it's a movie. It's Space Jam. Wow. <laughs> it's the Looney Tunes movie. <laughs> cool. It was. Not gonna lie. It's a guilty pleasure watch, but is yeah. it though? Yes. It is. Uh, everyone here says Space Jam. Space Jam. Space Jam. Pretty sure. You're the only one who didn't know that was a movie. Well, is that not just Jam made in space? Let's move on. Quickly. <coughs> Next one. A gritty film noir exploration of Eric Cole's seminal work, Find Spot. Movie or myth? I'll read it again. A gritty film noir exploration of Eric Carle's seminal work, Find Spot. Yes. That's got to be a myth. Come on. Me, Tina says, in space, no one can make you toast. <laughs> Yes, as in yeah, spot, spot the dog. The dog. Uh, <laughs> well, it is a book, but it's the film noir exploration of the book. That's that's the point. Is, is it less ridiculous than aliens playing baseball against no, baseball? basketball not, against I Looney Tunes? I didn't think that was a thing either. Well then, so you should maybe expand your horizons and think about what could be real. You're convinced it's a myth, aren't you? Yes. Oh my god. I am so ashamed of you. Yeah, it's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many points are we on now? We've got one, two, uh, we have nine and a half there. And uh, ten and a half. We're on ten and a half points. I don't know, I'm not really keeping sure of the score. Okay, uh, we've got two more. Here we are. Ready? A young orphan girl murders an elderly lady, joins a gang, and then kills the first woman's sister. Movie or myth? Wait, who's what? 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 A girl A young orphaned girl yeah. murders an elderly lady, yeah. joins a gang, yeah. and then kills the first woman's sister. Movie or myth? Oh, that sounds crazy enough. 
Brent says, sounds like a film. Sounds like some kind of crazy film. It, it is a pretty crazy film. That means I'm right then. Yeah. I don't know what it is. No. So you're going movie. I'm going movie. Anyone else in the chat room? Peter yeah. Cavaldi suggests Annie in the Hood. <laughs> um, it is a movie. Uh, can anyone in the chat room tell me which movie? And that in itself is a big clue. Which movie? Any thoughts? No? It's The Wizard of Oz. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Brendan Kage says, oh my God, you're right. I know! Of course I'm right! <laughs> Always right, except when I'm wrong. Um, I couldn't even work out who jumped onto who when you read that. Story. <laughs> what? It was, I was like, what? There was a girl, and then what happened? It was perfectly sensible. Dearing me. Right. Last one. Thank goodness. Right. <clears throat> a geology student at Harvard discovers that global warming is a conspiracy invented by a lobby of solar panel manufacturers. Movie or myth? I mean, it sounds ridiculous. It does sound ridiculous. So yeah. I'm going to say you wrote it. What are you trying to say? It's a myth. You think it's a myth? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brenton Cargay also thinks myth. Any other suggestions? Yeah. Buy watches, says Brent. Oh, okay. Peter Capaldi, say a few words about net, net neutrality. It's, I'm ambivalent about it. See what I did there? Um, um, Yay. Wasn't it in the cinema now? Geostorm, says Rory. Uh, yes, it was Geostorm. Um, right, so you're going with myth? Yeah. We're going with myth. Okay, I think the consensus is myth. myth. It is a myth. Because frankly, folks, even Hollywood couldn't come up with something that stupid. Mike drop. That was movie or myth. Your final score, Clary, eleven and a half points. Yeah.